I just wanna know, baby, if I hit your phone Is you picking up, baby, tell me what you want Never get no fuss, baby, I was all alone What's happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here for a fresh new week of sneak releases and for the most part It's like a little bit depressing because we got so many damn delays We got all of our hopes up for the last two weeks of this month 2020 was supposed to start off slow But towards the end of the January it was supposed to pick up really really heavily and unfortunately it will not be happening Because it looks like there's a lot of delays although there's some retailers that are still gonna be dropping them We'll go over those really really briefly today. Uh, we're gonna go over resale predictions how you can cop them uh, is it worth the buy? Is it a brick? Which means it's not going to go for much money over maybe five, ten dollars profit, maybe even fifteen, maybe even twenty. That's like a really, really risky cop at that point. Or is it a flip where you're making some guaranteed profit and it's pretty profitable no matter how much tax or shipping you're really paying? Uh, we're all going to cover that in today's video. And of course, if you didn't know, we got the premium group going on. We got a free app raffle going on as well. You also see them pinned comment below, so make sure you check that out. We'll show you guys what the app raffle looks like. If you guys didn't know, make sure you use the code capital tbtv on easyrentals.io once again you'll see them in the pinned comment down below if you want to save 10 percent on any bot rental on the website they got a plethora they got like a library of contacts going on right now you can pick out any bot you want get you fully prepared it's also a great way to test yourself if you guys didn't see my botting 101 video I said renting is the best way to get into botting because you don't know what works for you. You don't know if you really actually want to get into it save yourself not spending two bands on a freaking bot and instead spend like 20 to 50 dollars on a rental and you're at least you know checking it out for yourself uh so without further ado let's get right into it and we are live on the oh so mighty dreaded nike sneakers app baby we a lot of L's lately on this app, but if we can take a gander on their upcoming tab, it's really looking not that exciting at all this week. It's all looking like a break, a break, a break, a break, a break, a break, and a flip-ish kind of if you got local buyers, but that's it. But then luckily next week it starts heating up, and February is looking like to be the big movie month of this. This also this release right here has been delayed for literally like three times. Three times the shoe has been damn delayed. Uh, but yeah, I mean it's not really that exciting anyway. So we load more. That's just about it that we have confirmed on the sneakers app. That is. Now, of course, if you guys didn't hear what I said in the intro, tell me raffles at timeboytv.com is your place to go to have all raffles organized. You guys can see, like, for example, we got the um, Jordan 3 Cool Grades right now. Only a retailer overseas is having them, although they do, they do ship worldwide. So there's a little icon where they are. Like the Dunk High Russets, all you can see is European retailers for the time being, or Australian. And then you guys can pretty much see Top 4 Hazes are beginning to release overseas as well. You guys can check out those raffles. So I think it's a really, really great app, and it's free. All I ask is you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. That's all I really ask for, and I really, really do appreciate the support. Without further ado, though, as I said, let's get right into it. So first up, we got the Chuck Taylor All-Stars Crater. Uh, this is a charcoal color. There's three different colorways dropping in totality uh, on the 27th at 10 a.m. Eastern at a retail of 95 US dollars, but um, not great. Not great at all. We take a look at resale market. It's already selling for less than retail, at least in a specific size 11 and a half it is. If you cop a base size, maybe you'll make like $10, but this is definitely in that brick category. Not really worth the time slash effort or even like any time of day at all. I'd give it zero. Then we go to the Kyrie 7 Ray Guns retailing for 130 US dollars, dropping the 29th at 10 a.m. Eastern. And then if we take a gander, it's supposed to actually be releasing, oh, it's supposed to release on the 14th, I should say. Now it's releasing on the 29th. Uh, it is actually flipping for some money. I mean, lowest asks are up there. And, I mean, maybe I got lucky. I clicked on 11 and a half, and that's the only one that's up there so much. So, like, maybe you can get lucky with a rare, rare sale. Like an 11 and a half, 12 and a half, 13 and a half, 14, 15, something like that. But keep in mind, it's going to take a long ass time for you to sell that. I just don't see any demand on this product at all. Then we go to the Jordan 9 University Golds dropping for 190 US dollar retail. We got that gray. Oh, by the way, those two releases, like the Kyrie's going to be available at Full Locker and all those other retailers. Uh, these chucks should, by the way, be available on Nike sneakers. Shouldn't be a difficult cop, but if it is, it'll be available on Converse's website as well on the 27th at 10 a.m. Eastern. Uh, now, as I was going on, we got the Jordan 9 University Golds, $190. They're decent. I'm not a big fan of 9s at all, uh, but keep in mind, uh, there are GSs loaded up on here. But typically, GSs, like on the UNC 9s, I call them UNC 9s, they went up really, really fast. Do I see these falling the same route? Not really, just because they're like a more bland black colorway. But there could definitely be some good lunch money made on this release. Specifically, listen, listen, if you want to build up your accounts, dude, sell them for literally like $5 profit, $0 profit. At least you break even. At least you build up your points at the end of the day. But prices right now are looking decent. As for every Jordan GR Retro, they pretty much all fall the same route. 
still money to be made. Not like before the Last Dance ep uh, premiere where it was all bricks. Now they're worth some money. Like you definitely make some money on it if you're paying no tax and no shipping. But if you're paying tax shipping, I'm gonna definitely categorize it in the brick category for you. Uh, if you're not paying tax or shipping, it's a calm little like quick, quick lunch money flip at that point. Uh, then we go on to this shoe, which is uh, one that has a lot of people's attention. The Dunk Low Retro Copa Hyper Blue Chili Red Sale. This is a Dunk Low. I always thought, of, for some reason, I thought it was a Jordan 1 Low. Kind of reminds me of that. Uh, but it's a Dunk Low indeed. You can see Just Do It Nike over there. A lot of comic book action. It looks very much so Japanese inspired. And so be it that the only overseas retailers right now that I have raffles for is a Juice Store, which is a big overseas retailer from Asia. Or Hong Kong, I should say. And there's only one other retailer from there as well. But right now, it's a confirmed to be releasing on from the register online from the 25th to the 27th i don't think they ship worldwide um yeah you have to pick up so it's kind of kind of tragic but here you guys can see to enter do all this stuff uh check your mail and all that other shenanigans are going on good luck if you're entering for that but expect more retailers to get them eventually into the month of february and reselling that shoe is looking crazy i don't know i mean i know why they're holding better than like panda dunks for example which still have yet to release in the u.s because these are a lot more limited for the time being uh but still i would never ever wear the shoe in my life yeah i mean you could pay me to wear it for sure but i wouldn't wear it and pay for it at the same exact time uh then we go on to the nike dunk high which we mentioned in the beginning the russet this is the dunk highs right now one of the only retailers is in australia laced launches well, Lace is the brand. Lace launches is the website where they have their releases going on. 170 Australian dollar. You see, as I mentioned beginning of last year, you cannot ship internationally uh, due to Nike's new trading terms. We are, uh, as you can see, they say they cannot ship out of Australia. If you got a reshipper, probably some good money to be made. But keep in mind, Dunk Highs are really not the safest bet. Although it's cool to see more of like a unusual kind of like a colorway on the Dunk Highs. We lately seen just like regular like straight black white or not black white but green white michigan yellow blue just like two colors straight up and it's just been pretty yeah, it's been simple just like og vibes russets i think came out before as well but they're giving more of like a, a cool like casual vibe a little bit more travis scott inspired as well i might have to say uh, as you can see asks are high uh well just for 11 and a half but other than that though i'm gonna i'm gonna retract a bit reshipping is definitely not worth the value just because keep in mind 170 australian dollars is like 110 115 a little bit less than the u.s retail but reshipping is probably gonna cost like 40 50 dollars by the time it comes in you know and you have to get lucky with a good ass sale like on ebay per se uh but definitely not a great great cop in my opinion then on the 19th as well we got the concepts converse southern flame collection which will be dropping in men's sizing and i'll be having two different sneakers coming out here you are, um, and you know my opinion. I mean, you can probably tell I'm not a fan of these at all. I would never wear them. Are they cool? No, I don't know. I don't like Converse highs. I'm not a fan of those, these lows. Weird how they got a huge, huge heel tab over here that portrays way, way higher than the actual tongue. So it's going to be interesting to see how those look on feet. Uh, actually, my man's wearing rocking it right here. And yeah, it looks all right. Definitely cool though. Definitely different from what we usually see from Converse and do with any collaboration. And as for the resale side of things, asks are up there. They actually did like a pre-order type, type of thing for like VIPs of concepts. Uh, I got an invite to buy them. I don't think it was like really that the crazy like FNF invite. I think it was just like everyone on their mailing list of sorts. And I don't think that many people got it. But $120 retail, if you sell it for a 430 you're making absurd money but i really really congratulate you if you can catch a sale anywhere near there because they're all about the same asks but no no bits from what i can tell so it's interesting how these go out but i'm gonna definitely put them in the brick category now these were supposed to be the movie of this week on the 28th it was the rumor release date of these fours and it's supposed to be release date according to a lot of retailers Fortunately, once again, I got pushed back to February, but that just builds up the hype, hype more as we get closer to it. But SNS still has a pickup available for New York, Los Angeles, and online. And I think possibly, no, yeah, that's just about that they have, and probably overseas as well. Uh, but keep in mind, they might end up pushing back the raffle. It's still two days out. They might end up pushing it like a day before it's supposed to be announced winners. They might say, oh, we're pushing it back to next month, as they always do. And without a doubt, very, very profitable. Um, I'm a huge, huge fan of the shoe. Definitely want to tow this one. I'm one of my first sneakers I'll cop in 2021 that I'm going to be towing. I'm going to try to tow more. My response, my, my, my res resolution is try to tow more shoes because all I wear is Air Force Ones, the straight white on whites. I mean, it ain't bad, but I got to diversify it up a bit. And next we go on to Pato, which if you guys don't remember, Pato actually dropped their New Balance 991 last week at the end. I think it was on February. I mean, like a whole domain change and ended up being somewhat good, uh, in terms of prices. And they did, as you can see, domain change and dropped the men's and women's sizing as you guys 
guys can see right here. It says limited amounts will be available. I select retailers DOE Concepts and Beams. I have no idea who DOE is and I have no idea who Beam is, but I definitely know who Concepts is. So it's going to be interesting to see what Concepts does with these, but most likely they're going to do like a first come first serve online release and possibly even a first come first serve in-store release. Definitely a cool shoe. Uh, kind of reminds me like Joe Fresh Goods uh, collaboration almost. Not really because his was a different silhouette, but that nice neutral like pinkish red russet vibes for sure. Uh, yeah, fire shoe. Definitely cool for the toe as well. And you can see resale market is well, well worth the money. They're going for crazy, crazy numbers. Yes, it's a new year, but still people are paying over $500 for a pair of New Balances, which I don't think I'd ever say that three years ago. I never would have imagined that. And as we mentioned at the beginning, there's still just a few, few mere retailers considering dropping the Jordan 3 Cool Grays. Once again, almost 90% retailers, even overseas, have decided to push back, or not really decided, Nike decided to tell them to push back the release date. So that'll be something most retailers will not be seeing. Um, but as for the resale market of it, they're still really not doing a, that crazy for being super, super early. I've barely seen anybody out there with these. Uh, 275 it's not bad, uh, but definitely for the long-term hold, I could see these being a better option. But some market, yeah, like pre-sale market is like 290 260 270 That's not that great at all, considering that release is delayed for another 30-plus days. Uh, then we go on to, which is something, all right, yeah, it looks like, yep, that's just about it. That's all I got for you guys today. We cover about 10 plus different leases, certain low key, high key. You guys know the shenanigans, some overseas only for the time being. But of course, please, I appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, check out the app, check out the group on Instagram. And that's all I got to say for this week. Hope you guys have a great day, night, whenever you're watching. That's it from me. Peace.